people of the internet, and welcome kind of back to a series. So I used to play Ark on my channel quite a few months ago, and it wasn't actually on this, well, it was on this server, so I started on a previous server to this one, and I got really into Ark, and I spent about like 80 hours straight just playing it, like week on week off um, kind of thing, and then I joined this server, and I did a challenge stuff, like kind of video that Elwyn sent me, but... Then it kind of just died out, the whole series died, and I lost motivation um, to play Ark. But recently I've been getting a bit excited. Now, I haven't actually been keeping up with too many of the updates either, so there's so many different dinosaurs and things for me to do now that weren't there before, when previously when I was playing I tamed everything and it was old news. I think the only thing I never actually tamed was a Spino. So, we are bringing the series back. Now, I'm at Elwyn's base because I did have a base that I recently tore down, but we are actually going to be borrowing Goosey. Now, the reason we're borrowing Goosey is because I actually have no dinosaurs. They've all died. Um, now, they didn't die from starvation. I'm just going to let you know that. They died from me derping around and getting them killed. Um, I'm really good at that, so hopefully, hopefully... Um, that won't happen. I know that Goosey has a tracker or did have a tracker on him. Maybe he doesn't anymore. Um, but yeah, so I asked Elwyn nicely if I could borrow Goosey, um, and she said yes, as long as I feed her dinosaurs for her, because she's very busy at the moment, so I thought I would help, Goosey's gonna help me move everything, basically. Um, and we're gonna get all the chests in. I found a little area. I've gotta fly around and see if anyone else lives there. But I think we should be right. Now let's make sure that Goosey's not set on passive. He is. Let's set him to cycle to attacking your target. There we go. Okay, so we want to demolish all of this. Because we're not living here anymore. I've decided to. Basically, we're going to borrow Goosey. And then we're actually going to leave Tribronan. Yep. I'm going out on my own. I'm not going to use any of the tribe stuff because I feel like I jumped on the server and I started playing with the tribe stuff, which was mainly Elwyn stuff because I kind of moved in near Elwyn and then finally, well, moved in with Elwyn's stuff and then finally came out here but never actually did anything. It's a really nice spot though, but the swamp is just a little bit too much for me at the moment. But oh, we're a bit heavy. Now, we might have to make a few trips with Goosey, but that's okay. Let's chuck this on. I think he's got pretty good weight too. Access. Let's see. Oh, he's got all right weight. Pop this stuff here. Yeah. We're going to have to do a few trips, but that's okay. We're nearly finished up here. And yeah, so it's got a really lovely view here and everything, but there's a lot of sarcos and the swamps have a lot of nope, basically. That's how I'd like to put that. Uh, demolish, please. So we're going to move to the beach. We're going to start our own tribe. Now, I'm not planning on recruiting anyone to the tribe. I just would like to have my own tribe. And we're going to call it the Aussie Assassins. So if anyone else wants to join, well, I guess we've got a few Aussies on here that aren't Australian. So we've got Anasia and things like that. But Tribronin was theirs from the start. So they're going to stick with that, I'm sure. Um... Oh, I can't move at all? Okay. Uh, so yeah, but we're gonna have the Aussie Assassins, which will just be me, or the Aussie Assassin, maybe. Um, maybe I'll do that. And yeah, that's kind of like my nickname for Minecraft Murder at times. Now let's see, can I then, maybe I can then have some stuff on me. Take some lighter weight things. Um, but yeah. And we're going to start afresh, we're going to start getting dinos again, but I've got a few ideas for some builds and stuff, so I'm super excited. Let's just go with this. Some recipes. Oh, that was my list of to-do things that we never did. Now let's see, I don't know. UCB. Oh, no. Okay. Hold on, Goosey. Let's fix that up. Let's take some this off. Might help. Pop it, pop it in here. All right. Now, so um, the other day I was down the kind of let's see, I was down the bottom south end, 
Um, and kind of where that river meets. Um, so you see the little island down in the bottom right, and the river that goes in from there. We're going to go build there, I think. I need to double check that I'm not too close to anyone, though, so I'll have to go have a little fly around and see. But I did put a chest there and kind of claimed it as my own little area, but we'll, we'll have to see if that'll work. Obviously, if um, if someone else is living nearby, I don't want to encroach on their territory. But I don't want to live too far inland. Now, I wonder if... How big are you, Sako? Can't get me, I'm a bird. Get some meat for Goosey. Run away, Goosey, run away! Level 20. I can't remember what the level cap is on this server. It's not overly high. There we go. Now to get some meat. I know that we've got now a multiplier, finally. Let's just fly away from that. Um, we have a multiplier on for collecting resources, which makes it a lot easier. Because otherwise you spend a lot of hours on this game just trying to collect things. Now basically that area, I just realized that area that I was at before is where I used to live on the previous server. And I don't think I made any vid many videos though of that. Um, but it's all changed now that they've got swamps. So that's interesting. Um, the other thing is I don't know if they've still got them out, but I was roaming around the other day and found a lot of dodos that were, had bunny ears. And I heard that the eggs are helpful because of the dodo bunnies. We are stuck. Let's go. Fly up a little bit higher. But yeah, so I'm super excited to bring Ark back. We need to definitely go on a taming spree, basically. But this is kind of just a little intro video of us kind of starting out again, getting going. Um, I came on the other day to try and start moving things and stuff, but I thought I'd record it. Um, the other day when I came on, I was trying to walk it down, and I just died a lot. So that wasn't as fun. I could build up in this field if no one else has built, but... I kind of like the little beach area I've picked out. So I'll show you guys and you guys can let me know what you think. And if there's any areas on the island where you think I should build, let me know. Um, because I can always move. Uh, this is where I originally, um, my old tribe on the old, old server used to build. Good build here, though. There's no one here. Kind of a nice little, like, cove that I can block off. Hmm. That's actually tempting. There's a nice little cove there that I can block off, so I might actually go there instead. Let's see. We'll fly down to the other area. Now, I actually think that that's taught in um, Jayseed's Island. I think so. Uh, so, yeah. But, keep going. That sun is very bright have to land in a minute but that cove could be handy the cove isn't going to have any kind of like carnivals around it as much either so that's always handy but i did like the open beach area as well um maybe that isn't taught and let's just land for a minute and recover so we don't run out of stamina Maybe it's not. Maybe there's is further down. Okay, let's have a look. There is a Bronto in the water. I repeat, a Bronto in the water. That is a tamed Bronto. It is theirs. Yep. That was right. Oh, frame lag. Okay. Is that a tamed Bronto? No, that's a wild Bronto? What are you doing, buddy? Yeah, so this is definitely their base. So yeah, they're out here. So we wouldn't be, we'd be overly close either side, but not terribly, terribly close. But I will show you the other area and I might make a decision now. That little cove that I didn't, forgot about that kind of area. A nice area to block off, you don't need to use as many fences. Um, but then maybe the challenge of a nice open area would work out. Any bunny dodos here? I don't know if the bunny dodos are still around. 
That that sun glare though. Does anybody have some sunglasses? All right, so just um, pretty sure it's just up here. Yep. So I don't think it was on this side. I think it was on the other side, but maybe it was here. It was here. So this like little like patch of land here. Thought it could be kind of nice. We've got a little lake in the front. Um. Hmm. I do like that rock formation there too. Put like the forest behind us and things like that. I know that this area is a little bit more dangerous, but we could kind of block it off. It could kind of work. But you know what? Hmm. What's down here? I think. I think Avo's base is nearby here, but I could be terribly wrong. Um, so let's just have a look. Oh no, there. Definitely got carnivores here, which might make it a bit harder for me. Nice little plateau here. Hmm. Be nice to build up on a plateau. Interesting. I have a feeling a lot of... See, there's a Spino. Yeah, this area is pretty dangerous. Um, I have a feeling that it's going to be a little bit too dangerous to be building without many resources and things. Uh, but it could be okay to live down at the beach end of it. Um, doesn't seem to be like anyone's base is nearby. We've got lots of bad guys. Can we land for a minute? Take a second. Go. Okay. What's going on? You, you look cool. I'm not going to let you get me though. Alright, yeah, I think, hmm. Hmm, what to do, what to do. Yeah, okay, here's Avo's base. So Avo's base is fairly close by. Um, feeling like that little, like, kind of cul-de-sac area might work best for us. So I think we're going to move our stuff there. I think that would work really well. We can come here for taming kind of purposes, I think. But we definitely need to get another raptor or something that we can ride around on. Um... So in the next episode, we will definitely do that. But I think that's where we're going to move. I don't know. I really like the I like the idea of the like beach, but I wanted to have an open beach idea, and I don't know if that'll work. Hmm. And like this area is really nice here, overlooking this area, but it's very small too. So let's have a look. We don't want to live near a spino. As nice as you are, Mister Spino, I do not want to live near you. You seem very mean. Coming into night time. Those guys there. That's a Kano. Everyone's running from everything over here. Look at this. Crazy town. Now, do we have a... See, look. Is this... What do you have up here? Are these all parasols? Yeah, they are. Guys. Up right here have a little breather so up here doesn't seem so bad let's, let's fly out and have a look have a little look it's me decision making on the spot thought like we could make a little bridge here maybe have both kind of areas maybe we will go with here like like I originally planned let's stick to the original plan live on the edge a little bit maybe um, I don't know. Kind of dangerous, but, you know, you got to live dangerously in life. I like the area here. We're close to a lot of other things. We're not too close to everyone's bases either. Um, so that should be all right. So let's just jump down here. I made a chest or like a storage unit. Pop our map away. But let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I will read them, and we can always move. Uh, it's not too hard to move. Um, so once I do leave Tribronin, it's going to be a lot harder until I get a dinosaur. 
So, makes me, hmm. You know what? Let's take all. Am I now too heavy? Let's demolish this. Jump on Boosie. Are we too heavy? We're all right. He's going to, it's a bit heavy, but that's okay. We're going to go to the safe area. I've decided. I made a choice. So I'm going to fly down there and basically we can move everything back and forth. And that means that I've got a better chance of surviving. Um, I'd love to be able to make a bridge and things like that. But right now, not, not something I really can do because I don't have the ability to defend myself from anything. And if a spider came down that far, although they usually don't, they could. It's just going to not make the situation fun for me. <laughs> Whereas I can kind of gate off this area and make it look nice. Um, I think that'll work well. So let me know what you guys think, see if I made the right choice or not. Um, and we will give it a go. Nice little colder slack area. It's kind of in between everyone's bases. So, nice little spot for a new tribe to begin. There's so many nice rock formations around here, though. But, um, yeah, and let me know in the comments, guys, what dinosaur should I try and tame first? Um... We'll see if I can can handle it. And any challenge dinosaurs that you really want me to get, um, I'm definitely going to need to get the one like dinosaurs that collect the certain things. Like I want all the collecting dinosaurs: so stone, wood, thatch, fiber, etc. Make my life a little bit easier. But we will get to that eventually. And as for now, we will just head back to our little cul-de-sac, pop all our stuff in the chest, and fly back to our thing and redo everything. Make sure everything's in the chest, and we should be good to go. So on that note, I am going to leave it here for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and yay, we're bringing Ark back. I'm super excited, so I will see you guys next time. Bye!